Well, we are just days away from a pivotal game for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah, now the game is not in Columbus, of course, but Jay Crawford and Betsy Klingar. Hey, guys, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great. Um, first of all, the number one thing you'll notice right away is the matchy sweatshirts that we've got going. That was a cling idea. <laughs> Not my idea. We look like dorks. <laughs> Betsy thought it would be a good idea. I said, let's roll with Why it. Why not? She's the boss. I do whatever she says. Yeah. Um, Christy, you can feel the history in this bill. This stadium's more than 100 years old. Mm -hmm. And I know that this won't be the site of Saturday's game, but there's so much history here. In fact, at one time, students actually lived in the grandstands here in the stadium. It was called the Stadium Scholar Dorm. Yeah, we just walked in at the side over here and, and there was a big plaque up on the wall. So we tapped Kevin Landers with our sister station here in Columbus, who spoke with those who once lived there and how it changed their lives. For Buckeye Nation, this stadium is where fall football memories are made. But for a lucky few, it's much, much more than that. This section through here, the laundry room was on that side, and we had a basketball court down here. The dorm is long gone now, torn down in June of 1999 to make room for stadium expansions. There's a small plaque outside gate 23 that explains part of the dorm's history. We lived in what some of us at least thought was a great playhouse. We had the run of the place. It was inside the stadium dorm where college students, many of whom were the first in their families to go to college, lived at a reduced rate. Safe to say that it changed your life? Yes. The stadium scholarship dorm was made up of students from small town Ohio. College to them was more of a dream than reality. Well, I remember in December, my senior year, thinking, I don't know how I'm going to pay for this. And then, if not for the stadium dorm, most of us wouldn't have been able to afford to go to school. With windowless rooms on the west side of the stadium. It was like living in a cave. The only way to see outside was from the window of the West Tower. It certainly was noisy, but uh, I, I don't think anybody viewed it as an inconvenience, especially when you sneak into the game. Sneaking into practice wasn't as easy. If Woody saw you watching practice, he would notify the police and you would be escorted out. The dorm started as men only and gradually became co-ed. It was both a sorority and a fraternity at once, it sounds like. It was better than that. They played basketball where the concession stands were. They were self-governed. They earned their keep by cooking, cleaning, and doing the laundry. They had their own newspaper and yearbooks. So to live here meant you had to earn enough work credits every Friday week or face Saturday what was called a ding. People. I ran the cafeteria in the dorm my senior year. It was more than a dorm. For many, it was a life changer. Without that scholarship, where would you be in life, do you think? Nowhere. For John Bradshaw and his wife, Eva Williamson Bradshaw, living under the bleachers is where they met and eventually fell in love. We actually got married at Mirror, Mirror Lake. Lake. We've been married 40 years. Born out of an idea that cost should not prevent Ohio high school graduates from attending college, the Scholarship Stadium dorm lives on today. Alumni continue to raise money so the next generation of college graduates struggling to pay for college can do so. For those who lived here, this is more than a stadium. It was where they became family. So when we come to the stadium, we're coming home. It's a place that we really feel was our home when we started as students. Reporting from Ohio Stadium. Go Fox! Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. <laughs> I had no idea that that was a thing ever here. Well, I worked at the CBS affiliate Channel 10 here, WBNS, from 93 to 98, and I remember that there was actually a dorm in the stadium. The part that's most incredible to me is they said they sort of had the run of the place. So imagine, you know, it's November, it's a Friday, you got nothing going on, you can start walking around the dorm, hey, you guys want to play a game of football? Yeah, where do you want to play? On the field. The shoe. <laughs> it's fine. And you come out here? Just going to go out the back door. <laughs> you know, tomorrow Ohio State Michigan's going to play on this field. Oh. No one will mind. It makes you wonder, though, about the dining hall. Was it all just dogs and burgers and nachos or? <laughs> Popcorn. It was all concession That's right. food. That's it. It was all concession food. Yeah, it's a pretty cool story. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, cool my gosh. I mean, and they're part of just this one, you know, group of people that have this specialized experience. Yes. Guys, thank you so much. That was fascinating. You're going to see more of them coming up at 5 o'clock, obviously doing their whole show.
from OSU Stadium. That's 